I'd like to welcome you here today as chair of the Goodman Theatre Board of Trustees. It is my great pleasure to, to announce that we're celebrating today a milestone in the Goodman's history. And more importantly, we're here today to acknowledge the vision of Mayor Richard M. Daley and his inspiring accomplished wife, Maggie Daley. So thank you again. Uh, good afternoon, and uh, thank you for the kind introduction, Chairman. Uh, Mayor and Maggie Daly have been relentless advocates for the city's artistic, cultural, and entertainment institutions. Early in his tenure, Mayor Daly realized that an active art scene in the loop would stimulate business, increase tourism, and generate the economic development necessary to revitalize the loop. But he did not limit his vision and focus to the loop. Over the past 21 years, our mayor has been America's number one urban CEO in terms of advocating the development of social infrastructure to improve the quality of life for all Chicago citizens. Ten years ago, we stood on this stage and celebrated the achievement of a decade-long dream to create a new home for Goodman Theater. In 2010, we celebrate what that achievement has meant to the city of Chicago and the American theater. The Goodman has produced diverse seasons for an audience of over two million, educational programs for more than 2,500 Chicago public high school students each year, and has become the economic engine of the theater district. The artists, trustees, and staff of the Goodman live our values of producing the highest quality on stage, making cultural diversity the fabric of the organization, and providing education and community programs that contribute to the quality of life in Chicago. The words of August Wilson. Mayor Daly, friends, and distinguished guests, today is a glorious and historic day for the arts in Chicago. I am honored to stand here in the stead of any number of thousands of voices and hands and feet and hearts who labor every day in the vineyards and the cultural battlefields of self-affirmation. Thousands of men and women who are armed and armored with an enduring strength and a collective responsibility that is singular in its purpose, the enrichment and affirmation of all of our lives as worthy of the highest art and the highest possibility. We have gathered to dedicate this building to the continued work of the Goodman Theater. It is a magnificent building. In another guise, it is a temple, a palace, a monument dedicated to the preservation and promotion of the cultural values of the society we live in. We have all shared a common history as Americans. We can all trace our ancestry back to a ship's log or an airline manifest. We are heirs to a great faith, a great belief in one's ability to render out of his experience the truth of a high and indelible purpose emblazoned with the high ideals of human conduct. We are part of a long line of people who embrace that faith and set through an unknown landscape, complete with false trail, forked roads, a landscape of impossible cartography. Going, as Langston Hughes wrote, sometimes in the dark where there ain't no light. <laughs> We are part of a long line of people who wrestled the meaning of the word American from sometimes stubborn and unyielding realities and learned to wear it and embrace it with a love worthy of its complexities. Indeed, we would not be here today with this glorious production were it not for Mayor and Mrs. Richard M. Daly. And therefore, we thank you with an invitation to the Daly family to become a part of our cast on stage <laughs> together with us in a walk-on role. <laughs> Don't worry. You will not have to learn how to fly. Unless, of course, you want to. Thank you. <laughs> Forgive me. I can't stay. I promised Tiny Tim I would take him to the Field Museum and he gets rather cross if I keep him waiting. God bless us, everyone. I thank you 50 times! Merry Christmas! 
Merry Christmas! Please welcome the Mayor of Chicago, the Honorable Richard M. Daly and Mrs. Maggie Daly. Thank you very much, Rock. My new career will be coming out like that very shortly. No, uh, but uh, uh, to uh, Brian, to Patricia Cox, to Peter Bino, the entire uh, board of directors and trustees and wonderful friends at Goodman Theater, Meg and I thank you for honoring us today. Uh, we really thank not only honor us, but your honor all Chicago for their great commitment to the arts. And to the Goodman Theater, I want to thank Peter Bino for talking about the history, Irv and Lou and others, and Sandra that pioneered uh, the former uh, trustees and who worked so hard on behalf of the Goodman Theater and all the friends. And the whole history of it, the whole I will spirit of never allowing theater, the Goodman Theater, to die, and, and the transformation uh, from uh, in and around uh, the Art Institute to the downtown area, to the Michael Todd Theater. You are the ones that tell the story about our country, sometimes good and sometimes bad. You're the one who tells the story about the city, sometimes good and sometimes bad. And the same thing about an individual, sometimes good and sometimes bad. But the idea, you're willing to tell the story. No censorship, no one looking over what you have written down or what you're gonna say. And to me, that is what America is all about. And I think that's what truly Chicago's about a city of the Midwest, a city of immigrants coming in today by thousands and thousands, a city of young people thriving to come to the city, and you see them continually, a city being reborn just like the Goodman Theater is being reborn. And the Maggie and I thank you for this great honor, and we deeply appreciate your great commitment to the Goodman Theater, but also your th commitment to our great city, our past, our present, and the future. Thank you very much. It's really remarkable, remarkable words, and uh, I couldn't help but I was listening and I couldn't believe really how he captured what the theater is in a, such an eloquent way, of how it is a mirror uh, that, that in a way we get to face our uh, personal um, triumphs and our uh, calamities, our celebrations and our remembrances. Uh, the theater is is a remarkable place, and we're all very, very fortunate to have it in our life here in this, in this wonderful space. And I loved what you said, Brian, about uh, dream weavers. Uh, we all have a chance to be that when we come and support the theater. So thank you. Thank you for this great gift and this honor. Uh, I will treasure it in all my life. Thank you.